Hi, I'm Karen Hodgins, creator of Nifty Numbers Family Math Night. And for this teacher tip, I'm gonna show you how to use simple tools to help your students make the perfect circle. Now, there are some commercial compasses available that do an awesome job of helping students make circles, but it wasn't until I decided to do a fall carnival project with my sixth grade students that I call target practice, and by the way, I have a video showing you how to do this, but it wasn't until this project that I realized that the compass was not gonna help my students make the larger circles. So I went to the tried and true strategy of pencil, string, and push pin, which by the way, does an awesome job of helping students make circles. And I'm gonna show you the key is to um, make sure that students have that pencil. The pencil needs to be straight up and down. So they're gonna, um, draw their circle. I'm not going to go all the way around because it's kind of hard on here, but you can see how wonderful um, these simple tools um, are in helping students make circles. The problem for this project was that the circles needed to be an exact size and the kids were getting frustrated in trying to get the length right here, so the radius, um, the exact size that they needed. So as the saying goes, necessity is the mother of invention, I came up with another way to get students to make circles and it involves using cardboard um, and I cut the cardboard into one inch strips and each team received a strip. So for this project, they were actually working in teams of two um, to three students. So they each got a strip. And then um, I uh, walked them through the directions. So the first thing that they needed to do was to measure in um, half an inch and then make a mark right there. And then depending on the size of their circles, because different teams had different size targets, so depending on the size of that, they needed to mark out the rest of um, their numbers. So if they needed the circle with a diameter of um, six inches, then they needed a radius of three inches and so forth. Now when they had this done, they needed to punch out those, um, um, those points okay, with a hole punch. Now the hole punch that I use is a sixteenth of an inch. It's not the regular one that we're used to seeing. And I like the sixteenth of an inch because you can see my other sample here. Um, the pencil stays nice and firm in there when they're creating their circle, so it's easier to work with this way. And I just bought um, three or four of these at the local craft store that the students um, rotated them around their, um, the groups. So once they created this, then they could use this to make their circle of the exact diameter that they wanted. So if I wanted to make a circle with a diameter of eight, I'd make my radius four. And again, I'm not gonna go all the way around, but you can see how beautiful and how perfect that is. So using simple tools like cardboard, you too can have your students make the perfect circle.